Friday Night Highlights are brought to you by realtor Marla Richardson. The Battleground Academy playmakers emerged again in week two. This time Purdue commit Antonio Stevens stepped into the spotlight snagging seven receptions for 182 yards and a pair of TDs. This one went for 62 yards to open the second quarter. Quarterback Nick Semptonfelter connected on 15 of 20 of his passing attempts for 302 yards and four scores as BGA held on at Father Ryan 34-28 Friday. The veteran Wildcats who reached the state championship last year off to a 2-0 start. Senior bond is unbreakable. You know, we play 7-on-7 seven seven together, we work in the offseason, so it, it's great to, that it shows out here on Friday nights and so happy for our team and happy that we can put it together. It, it feels good, you know, we, we knew what we could do. It was just, you know, the whole week just prepping, just working and working, and you know, uh, it feels really good. I'm, I'm really proud of this team, you know. A lot of people have been doubting us since day one, you know, losing in the state finals. But, you know, we're going to continue to work and get better every day. Despite the big plays, BGA made several errors as well. Father Ryan actually struck first on this Antonio Wright 10-yard run. The Irish dominated the ground game, racking up 291 yards and outgaining BGA 434 to 312 in the contest. Two of the three punt attempts for the Wildcats, well, they look just like this. After the bobbled snap, Aiden Nelson smothers Jack Sauter as the Irish take over at the five late in the first. That one set up Wright's opening TD. BGA would take a 14-7 lead eventually, but the home team nodded the game again to end the first half when DC Tabs got hit Matthew Beacon on this four-yard strike. There were definitely some highs and lows in the game, and uh, I was really proud of our resilience um, throughout the game. Lots of room for improvement, but proud of how we battled for sure. Sempton Felter found Stevens for this 31-yard reception open the third quarter on a high note for the Wildcats. The Bucknell commit switched sides and went to his other target, Garnett Hollis Jr., for an 18-yard strike on the next play as BGA regained the lead just 28 seconds into the second half. Jaden Robinson pounded in this nine-yard run to make it 21-21 late in the third. Robinson rushed for a game-best 115 yards to lead Father Ryan. If BGA produced several mistakes, the Irish coughed up several major scoring opportunities. None bigger than this one on second and nine from the 15. Wright gets hit by a pair of defenders trying to score fumbles out of the end zone for what is ruled a touchback. BGA takes over early in the fourth. The Wildcats produced another scoring drive and regained the lead for good after Caleb C scores on this one yard plunge. Bouncing back in the second half was huge and getting the win obviously. Emotional game, it was a roller coaster and I obviously lost my voice a little bit so great game though.